Shalom, shalom, you guys. I wanted to bring to your attention um, the scriptures regarding the linen. See, a lot of people do not understand the extent and how important it is to make sure you have the correct garment and be prepared for Hamashiach. Okay, so I've stumbled across some scriptures. Revelation 19, 7, 8, 9. This edification lesson, little lesson, is strictly for the elect, the saints, those of you who feel in the spirit that you have been here before, those of you who feel in the spirit that you've always been the black sheep and the outcast of your family, those of you who feel in the spirit that you are followers of Hamashiach. Those of you who are full in the spirit that you've always questioned yourself throughout your whole expand of being here on the earth, would Hamashiach do that? I'm talking to you, congregation of the saints. I'm talking to you, 144,000 elect men. And I'm also talking to the wives of the men and the children of the men. Okay? This is for you. Hamashiach said, in Revelation 19, verse 7, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife hath made herself ready. Look at this. Hamashiach is addressing the saints, the 144,000 men and their wives and the children. He said that we are to make and prepare ourselves to be ready for him. Look at what's going on around the world. Look at how many earthquakes are erupting back to back to back. For the earth is groaning and awaiting for the true manifestation of the true sons of the Elohim. So the earth is revving up, getting ready, okay? Having labor pains, about to deliver the saints. This is what's going on right now. So the things that are happening around the earth. It's the wrath of the father. But is also a manifestation of the earth. And what is happening spiritually. Spiritually. So the earth is having earthquakes. Floods. Volcano eruptions. Tsunamis. This is the manifestation of what the father is going through with the labor pains, ready to deliver his saints out of this wicked place. So Hamashiach said, saints, be prepared for when I come. He also states, in, if I'm not mistaken, Luke that he said, do not be caught off guard that you are to be waiting and ready for my arrival. So it says in Revelation 19, 8. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. Did you hear what Hamashiach said? This is why I've been telling you guys that Hamashiach had, was wearing linen. We are to wear linen. Hamashiach said she was granted that she shall or be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saint. So if you represent Hamashiach's congregation... You should be wearing nothing but what Hamashiach wears. Hamashiach said that you will be granted to wear this stuff. The Father has given us an amazing, amazing price on the most expensive linens that we could be wearing right now. Hamashiach has given us this. The Father has given us this. So, this is not to just make a sale. Our job is to equip the saints. This is, guys, it kind of cut off a little bit. So I think I was at, this is where, this is what we have been sent to do. We have not been sent to get rich. We have been sent to equip the saints so that you guys can be prepared for salvation. We have been sent for correction and we've also been sent for judgment. Ain't nobody else been sent to do that 
but King David and his wife because we are one. Okay, so everybody else that's out here telling y'all, oh, I'm giving judgment. Guess what? They're lying to you because the word says that King David was sent for judgment. And they don't say his wife because we already know that the Roman, Roman Vatican Church have been against women because they already knew the Most High was, was going to be using a woman prophet at the end. Okay, so back at the ranch. So Revelation 19.9. And he said, saith unto me, right blessed are which are called unto the marriage supper of the lamb. And he saith unto me, these are the true sayings of Yahweh. So blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper. I don't know about you, but I know this. I gave up a whole wardrobe once I got the light on what I was supposed to be doing. I, the, Hamashiach kept on saying to me, or the father, I think it was Hamashiach though, okay? Um, because I know the father's voice sounds very stern. That, Hamashiach kept saying to me, what if I'm not ready when he comes? What if I'm not wearing the required garments when he comes? Could it be possible that I would, that I would forfeit salvation because I'm not prepared? Huh. I kept hearing that over and over again. So I said, you know what? I ain't taking no chances. Plus, I know I'm at war. The enemy is after me. He's on, he's on me because I'm out here giving his word. I'm out here tearing his kingdom down, exposing his secrets, giving up the game to people because they in the dark. They don't really know how this works. So, look, I got to put on my garments because this is what Hamashiach wore. Hamashiach was tearing down Satan's kingdom too. But this is what he wore. So, why would I wear anything that Hamashiach did not wear? Let me tell you something. All that polyester I had, all that rayon I had, threw it out, honey. All those mixed garments threw it out and start and prayed to the Father that he would give me a blessing. When I made that sacrifice, that's what the Father blessed me with money right after that to buy linens and get my wardrobe, wardrobe up. And that's exactly what happened. So when you make that exchange with the father, when you make that sacrifice, he's going to make that exchange with you. This is what people were doing when they were making sacrifices. They were making an exchange with the father. So when you sacrifice your wardrobe and say and pray to the father and ask him to give you the funds to be able to purchase your linen, this is what the exchange is going to be. He's going to do that. But first, you got to make the worthy sacrifice. And that's what I did. I made the worthy sacrifice. And, in, and, before, and for that sacrifice that I brought up to him, he gave me the funds to be able to purchase the linens. That's how it works. I'm giving you the game, you guys. So, is it worth, right, being unprepared when Hamashiach comes? Is it really worth that? I mean, I don't know about you, but if you fully believe in your heart that you are that you are a saint, these are the scriptures here. Hamashiach saying, made herself ready. Are you making yourself ready physically and spiritually? This is the physical part of being ready. Putting on the gown that the bride is supposed to wear. Your linen tunics, your linen. This is the, 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 the bride's attire, and that's linen, okay? So if you really believe in that you were saint, I don't know about you. And also, I want to let you guys know that you can't just purchase any linen. <laughs> that's the thing. Um, you, if you do purchase the linen, uh, make sure you go over to Patreon. If you don't get it from us, make, to, make sure you go over to Patreon, to our Patreon that's going to be available very, very soon. I know I've been saying that, but sooner than you think. It's going to be very uh, available very soon. Go to over to our Patreon if you don't buy the linen from us. Go to Patreon and go get, download the video over there that's telling you how to remove polyester threading that's in the linen yes the enemy knew that the bride had to be prepared before Hamashiach made his way here so what the enemy has done was defile the linen out there today 
So because the, the Most High has given these secrets unto his leaders and to King David and showed us and told us and ministered to us and gave us up the secrets and the game and what these fallen angels is doing, why we're getting it? Because we're the leaders here. Okay, so the father always reveals to his leader that he puts in position to deliver his children out of captivity. He gave it to Moses. Now he's giving it to King David. This is how it's working. He's not going to go give it to IUIC. He's not going to give it to HOI. He's not going to give it to false prophets and false assemblies and false Jezebels. He's not going to give it to them because that's not who he picked and choose. Understand that the father does things in a way. He has ordinances and he has a way of how he does things. It's just like when you're on your job and you're working and you got a routine down pat on how you get your job done. Well, that's how the father works too. He has a routine and he does things a certain type of way. And the word says he does not change. Okay? So... The father has given it to his head, the secrets on what these fallen angels are out here doing. This is why the fallen angels have a lot of false prophets in place on social media. He has a lot of camps in place, which are Masons. He has a lot of false prophets and false assemblies and false camps and Jezebel prophetesses out here so that he can clog up the airways and frequencies and put the spirit of confusion on you. But when you come across us, we stand out. We are unique. You're drawn in. It's because we are who he sends. And when you understand that and get that and digest that in your spirit, this is when your leveling up is going to take. Because we've taken you to the next level, honey. <laughs> we ain't been sitting here to sugarcoat anything and talk smooth words and try to look good on social media to get likes and views. No, we've been sent here to do a real job. <laughs> so. This is what is required from Hamashiach. He gives you the scriptures. He tells you be ready. He's telling you saints to get ready to put on your garments of linen, which stands for righteousness, because that's what he's looking for. When the father looks down at you, when you are sending up your supplications to him, he wants to look down and see a representation of his heavens. When the father looks down on me and King David, he see angelic beings because that's what we are. We are cloth and linens of righteousness. We represent his kingdom. We execute judgment here in the earth because we are from the Shamaim. We are not from earth. We are experiencing an earthly experience, which is a man experience, but we are angelic beings that are sent. Saints, you are also angelic beings that are sent. So you are rep so you are to represent his kingdom and not Beelzebub's kingdom. If you're wearing anything outside of linen, you are not representing the Father. When you get this understanding, you are held accountable. So when you watch this video and you hear it, you are held accountable. So you can purchase your linens from us or you can try to purchase them yourself. But I'm going to tell you this. You better go over to Patreon and, and learn how to remove the defilness from the linen. Because if not, you're still rocking defiled garments. Okay? And why is it still defiled if you purchase your linen from someone else? Because it has polyester threading all throughout the linen, honey. <laughs> and only we've been shown and taught how to remove it so we got a video over there that you can guys can go and download you can purchase somewhere else or you can purchase directly from us which we have very expensive high quality flex seed linen top of the line clean and white as snow at a discounted rate for ten dollars a yard I mean, I'm going to tell you guys, this linen should go for at least $23 to $25 because it is such great quality. But this is the blessing from the Father. He's trying to get us ready and prepared. So this is the blessing he'll give us, okay? He'll make it easy on us because he know we poor. We know the, the poor and the um, faithful is the ones that's going to get up out of here, okay? Not the rich and the famous and the wicked. 
That's what the word says, okay? So, with that being said, look at that. 144 is the time right now. Ew, okay? <laughs> Speaking to the 144. So, with that being said, you can get it at a great discounted rate of $10 a yard. Anything over $20 can get purchased at $8.50 a yard, okay? You ain't getting these prices really nowhere, okay? So... Thank you for watching. I hope you take correction and edification because I would hate for you to be a saint and not be in your correct attire that Hamashi said he's looking for. Shalom.